Welcome to Blue Modernity. In this video we will learn how to record a screen on a Raspberry Pi and in case this topic is familiar to you that's because I did already a video about this um, a couple of um, years ago or months ago and actually you tried two different software versions or two different uh, like applications to do so and now I just wanted to do another screen recording and I figured out it's not working anymore um, since I'm working now on a Raspberry Pi 5 uh, this one wasn't out at the time back then and it uh, seems like the new operating system is having a conflict with it so back then we used simple screen record and I want to quickly show you what happens so as soon as you open simple screen record that was the one that uh, of the, out of the two that worked perfectly fine back then and now you're getting already an error message that you're not like kind of any more compatible with the software and may maybe some functions are not working anymore so I just want to run through here quickly and basically as soon as you go here you can see the preview just recording a black screen I had it back then as well with a certain uh, type of um, file file type but um, yeah now it's with no matter what I change with the settings I tried it really quite some time now like at least an hour or so to change all the settings here from the container and so on and so on and the codec and every nothing worked so I had to move on to a new um, solution I tried uh, Koho or Koha or something called like this yeah didn't work as well um, was pretty buggy and and so on and very difficult to install or not difficult but it was like a lot of also some warnings and error messages during the installation process it also did start but didn't uh, work perfectly fine so anyway I found a solution and I want to show you what I settled on actually it's a pretty clever solution because you're using the chromium browser so you just go to the chromium uh, web store or Chrome Web Store but on the Chrome browser and from here on you just search for capture screen one word and there you go and then you need to scroll down a little bit and then you find it here capture screen dot net the, I don't know why it's showing other stuff that's like not exactly the name that we typed in first but anyway that's the one at the moment is this black picture here and just watch out for the actual publisher here that it's capture screen click on here and then up here you should have like install I have now removed because I'm obviously already recording this video with a uh, screen capture anyway you just click uh, here and then it takes a couple of seconds and you're good to go the way you're using it is first of all you go here on your extensions you can just pin it like like I did that you have it always available but obviously you don't have to I pinned it here so you can find it already right here in the corner and you can see our recording is ongoing alright to show you how to start a recording I couldn't like start two recordings at the same time as we could with simple screen so that's definitely a downside so I had to switch to the to the phone here to film so it's not a perfect solution but I think I will it will do the job so you just again hit your little extension here and there you can select now you can select screenshot you can select video and check your history we want to do a video and there you can just select the current tab you can also uh, record a webcam in case you have one connected but you obviously want to record the desktop and that's where it's getting interesting you can record sound which I'm not doing I record the sound separately and you can select the quality I will select 4k and then you just hit record there you go and now very important it's not recording right away because what you have to do now is you have to allow it to access your screen so it's basically working in a similar way like a video call it's pretty much the same thing as like just starting a uh, teams call or whatever that you and then you share your screen in the call and you have to allow the software to access your screen so I think that's the clever bit here because it's not really a, a program a, a application running locally on your Pi it's the browser that wants to access it so it's all managed through the browser so I really hope because of this um, fact that this will be a long-term solution and like not so not so um, yeah like exposed to updates and then some software is not any more harmonized um, between the operating system and the actual application because it's all managed through the browser and the browser will be obviously always up to date with the OS so you just hit share you get this typical little bar here that's like uh, informing you about that you have shared it you can hide it or you can always bring it up again here in the top corner 
and there you go the recording is ongoing and there we go that's the screen we saw before so let's switch back to the screen recording all right as soon as you're done with your recording you hit stop you will automatically be redirected to um, a page like this and there you can save it to your google drive or just download it and that's what we're going to do we just hit the download button and there we go it's downloading fairly quickly and there you see it's like four minutes i selected 4k and it's only 19 mb so i assume they're also using the technique of um, frame skipping in case there's nothing moving on the screen and then obviously you can just direct there and open it and here you go it's looking pretty decent here we go you can just quickly check if the recording was working fine and there we go we can see it's all there and uh, was working fine and as soon as you're done downloading the video you can just close this tab and you're done with this recording so it's pretty simple and that's what i really like about it it's like not really attached to anything running locally so it's you just have this download uh, thing then that's okay i mean that's maybe a downside you need to be then uh, downloading the actual file from the browser into your into your folder but apart from this it's super easy and i think a quite convenient solution i hope this updated version of the video was helpful to you and let me know in down in the comments if simple screen record is still working for you or if the chrome extension or chrome extension is working for you would be super curious like to know if it's working yes or no which which one is working for you and on which hardware you are is it a raspberry pi 4 or a raspberry pi 3b plus or raspberry pi 5 so to get a little bit of a feeling what's the best i try to keep this all posted and updated depending on the latest developments what's working or what's not working i hope you haven't been lost in the old video so thanks for watching Make sure to be subscribed you know, if you're more interested in content around electronics and IoT, Raspberry Pi and so on. And otherwise, see you next time.